In this video, we're going to learn how to calculate parameters of a discrete probability distribution using these formulas given here. I'll be showing this with Google Sheets, which is a Google version of Excel, basically. So I'm going to begin by calculating the mean. The mean is the sum or the total of e the products of each x value times its corresponding probability. So I'm going to make a working column x times p of x. This is this should feel similar to how you did a weighted mean. So I just multiplied the first and then copied the formula down. So I've done each product x times p of x. Now I need to sum them up. So I'm just going to use the sum function and select my values to get my mean of 2.0925. Okay, so that is my mean. Now, <clears throat> I'd like to do my variance, and that is uh, the summation of the products of the squared differences of each value from the mean to the power of 2, and then multiplied times the corresponding probability. So, in this column, I'm going to calculate the x minus the mean to the power of 2, and then I'm going to multiply that times the corresponding probability. Equals, for the first one, x minus the mean, and I'm going to make that an by pressing the F4 key and close parentheses, and raise it to the power of 2, and multiply times the probability of x corresponding to the x value of 0. And then I'll drag that formula down and add it up. Now, notice that I typed the sum function in again. But I also could have just dragged this summation, because this was summing this column. I can drag that to the side there. Oops, I accidentally went the wrong way. I meant to go this way. All right, so there's my variance. Now the standard deviation. is equal to the square root the square root of the variance right enter and there we have all of our parameters and the convention is to round these to one place more than the original values that the random variable could take and notice i didn't say data values because this is not data this is we're we're in we're in the uh, we're under the umbrella of probability now, rather than empirical. Probability is based on things that could happen, the likelihood that they could happen, and covering all the all the possibilities that could happen. So that's a little different than collecting data. It's a lot different than collecting data, actually. And so we don't call it data, we call it the values of the random variable. And we don't call these statistics, we call these parameters. Because in theory, we've covered all the bases of what could happen in the entire population. So it's considered a population parameter and not a sample statistic. Uh, sample statistics come from empirical data that's been collected. All right, so now that I have my answers, 
I'm going to go ahead and stop recording, I suppose.